to the Rho's A over R. First of all, what are the units of A? A is, its units are R times Rho. R is in meters, and Rho is in coulombs per meter cube. Because this is a sphere, this is a volume charge density. So A is in, must be in coulomb per meter square. So the units of A are coulomb per meter square. Anyway, A is a constant. We want to find E everywhere. Let's take first R less than R. So we have two regions. R, there is a point could be inside or outside the sphere. So if it's inside the sphere, say here, this is R. So what is the electric field here? So since it's a spherical symmetry, clearly, if I draw a, a sphere of radius R, every point on the surface of the sphere is equivalent to every other point. That is, if you stand anywhere on the surface of the sphere and you look around you in all directions, you see exactly the same environment that you will see if you stand at any other point on the sphere, on the, this red Gaussian sphere. So this means that the electric field everywhere on the sphere must have the same magnitude. And the electric field, of course, is radial. So if I use Gauss's law, integral e dot dA is q over epsilon 0. But e dot dA now, for this, over the Gaussian surface S, E is radial, and dA, dA, remember, is normal to the surface. So the normal to the surface of a sphere is the radius also. So dA is radial. So e dot dA is simply e dA. The angle between them is 0 degrees between E and dA, and cosine 0 is 1. And since E is, does not change as we move on the surface, it is again take it outside the integral. So it becomes E integral dA, which is E times 4 pi R square. This is E evaluated at R. But according to Gauss's law, this is equal to charge enclosed divided by epsilon 0. And the charge enclosed is a charge enclosed within the Gaussian sphere. And the charge within the Gaussian sphere, it's rho times the volume normally. This is if rho is constant. But rho is not constant. Rho varies with the volume. Well, it varies with R. So, so what is Q? Rho dV, the charge density times the volume. That is, I, I can take a small volume dV, and then the charge in that small volume dV is rho dV. And I must integrate this over the volume, over the volume of the small sphere. But now, the point is this. How, how would I do this? Because rho depends only on r, my dv, I can take my dv to be, to be a spherical shell a spherical shell between some radius, let's say r prime, to r prime plus dr prime. So this would be 
1 over epsilon 0, integral. Rho, now it's rho of r prime times dv, where dv is the volume of the spherical shell between, so it's a sphere of radius r prime and then a sphere of radius r prime plus dr prime. And there's a shell between them. What is the volume of that shell? It's the area of the sphere, surface area of the sphere, which is 4 pi r prime squared. That's the surface area of the sphere, times the thickness, which is dr prime. So it is equal to 1 over epsilon 0. Now, rho is just A over R. So rho at R prime, at any R prime, is just A over R prime. 4 pi R prime squared dr prime. So this is 4 pi A over epsilon 0. And then the integral R prime squared over R prime is just R prime dr prime. And R prime the radius of this shell varies from 0 to, remember, it's only we're interested in the charge in the red sphere. So from 0 to R, to R. So this is just R prime square over 2, the integral. From 0 to R, it's just 4 pi A or epsilon 0 R square over 2. This is Q enclosed over epsilon 0. It's equal to that. So we end up with E 4 pi R square is 4 pi A R square over 2 here. 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square. So we're left with e was a over 2 epsilon 0. Constant electric field here. How about outside? Outside, the same, I can use Gauss's law, I get same thing, e 4 pi r squared. And it's also same thing, the integral. But now it's the whole sphere. So all the difference is that the integral is from 0 to big R, to the radius of the sphere. So instead of R square over 2, it becomes big R square over 2. So now it becomes 4 pi A over 2 epsilon 0 big R square. So this means that E, the 4 pi goes, it's A over 2 epsilon 0, R square over R square. So now it's a constant divided by R square. So it acts like a point charge which is always the case. Because if you're outside, if you're outside, then the electric field is the same as, as if the whole charge is concentrated at the center. And in that case, of course, it's, it's the electric field goes like a constant divided by R squared. 